Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. What's up, what's up? Winning Cures Everything, I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And this is the NFL preview show for week number seven. And I'm excited about it. Yes, sir. A little bit pumped. We're going to be in Chicago when uh, when the Bears and the Saints decide who will be the what? Well, no, I'm just going to say the best defense in the NFC. But I mean, that could be for the best defense in the NFC. Entirely possible. Eh, either way, go over to winningcureseverything.com. You can find more information about us. We got our picks, previews, videos, podcasts. Social media platforms, everything else is over there. The football pick'em contest. Ben F. from New Mexico won that junt last week. You can enter in this week. You can get some cool prizes from our buddies over at Tunica, Mississippi. The South's premier sports gambling destination. Tunica has got it going on. Let me tell you, man. Six incredible sports books. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. <sighs> Share the show out. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. All of those wonderful things, of course. If you are on Apple Podcast or any of your other favorite podcast apps, hit that subscribe button. But especially if you're on Apple Podcast, hit subscribe. Leave a nice review, a five-star written review. We will read that junt on the air in the college football gambling podcast or or video or whatever it is. Um, man, you ready to fire into this thing? Yeah, come on. Let's do this thing. Let's go on and jump in. First big game in Chicago. First big game is in Chicago. Let's uh, let's talk about the Saints and the Bears. I got no notes on this. All I know is that the defenses are fantastic. I know Teddy Bridgewater has been lights out. That's right. The um, Bears' offense, however, is struggling. Not, is not. But uh, Trubisky should be back. I think Trubisky is going to be back. Yeah. They've had two weeks to prepare. Does that make a difference? I, I do think so. I mean, I I, I think we saw. There's a big difference between Trubisky and Chase Daniels. And Chase Daniels. I was going to say, I think we saw the, the heights of what Daniels could do in, in the first game that he came in for. Yeah. But then after that, he gets figured out pretty easily in the NFL. There's reasons to back up. And uh, when Mitch has been good, he's been fine. It, it's going to be a hard game. I don't think we're going to find a lot of points in this game either way. As, as well as the Saints have been playing, this is a really good defense that they're facing also. Yeah. So it's points are going to come scarce. The over under is 38. I would probably take the under. That's very little points. It doesn't. But I, even still, these two I, defenses. I'm shocked if both these teams hit 15. Yeah, these, just, these defenses have been fantastic. That's right. So. Um, as far as picks go, I mean, I'm, I'm going Saints. Until they bite me, I'm going Saints on this. Like, I, I like them to cover the three, I like them to win outright. I, I think that the Saints team is on a roll. Uh, they have felt slighted. I, I don't think it matters who the who the quarterback is, whether it's Bridgewater or Breeze. Uh, I think they're going to find a way to win the game. Yeah, the team is just really good. God, this is so hard. I almost I don't I, I really don't have a pick. If you made me, I would take the points on the Saints. Picking a winner, Jesus. All right, so I'm gonna do Saints plus three for you. I mean, I probably would. I would probably take the Saints. Okay, you're gonna take the Saints straight up. I'm gonna take the coach that I trust the most. There you go. And and I think both defenses are really good, but that's that's not to say yeah. that Matt is a slouch. <clears throat> no, but I mean Sean Payton. But Sean Payton is showing that he, he yeah. There's a. I think he's taking some of this personal where everyone's blowing Sean McVay for the past two years. He's saying, hang on. Who's, like, the best, I, who's the best Sean in the NFL? I've been doing this forever. I've been doing this for a long time, and nobody's hired my OC. His OC's been there for like 11 years. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, maybe he is, maybe he's not. Maybe I just made that up. But No, he's been there for a little while. It's tough. LSU came and got his passing game, dude. <laughs> he was mad about that. Damn straight. Oh, my Lord. I would have been mad, too. Good Lord. All I'm right. Not, I'm not mad. No, I know you ain't mad. You, you happy both your Louisiana team's doing just fine. Just fine. All right, let's jump into the next one. The Minnesota Vikings taking the road show on the road over to Detroit. The Lions have put everything they've had into the last five games. 
They got absolutely screwed at the Packers on Monday night. They got a short week. Vikings looked really good at home against the Eagles. The Vikings play better in domes for whatever reason. I don't understand it, but whatever. Um, Minnesota has looked really good since Kirk Cousins decided that he was going to apologize to his wide receivers and to everybody else for causing the ruckus. That's right. And they are still rolling right now. This is a division game. I think Minnesota needs this one. Uh, they've already lost to the Bears. They lost to the Packers. I, I think I think they get this one. Yeah, I, this is this is another tough one, and and the reason it's so tough is the Lions have absolutely been screwed in the last two games they played. Not just not just Monday night, but the the last time we saw them play before the, bye week the Chiefs was against the Chiefs, and the refs absolutely gave the Chiefs that game. Yeah. Now, I just feel like at some point in time the ball's going to bounce their way and I'm going to look like a fool for picking against them. So you're taking Lions, huh? No, no. <laughs> give, me the, give me the Vikings. Give me the Vikings. I got the Vikings to win the damn division. Yeah. They can't start off 0-3 in the division if I got them to win it. I can understand They got to start winning divisional games. I believe that. They count different. They, uh, they most certainly do. The Vikings have looked really, really good here lately. Uh, Dalvin Cook, like this team with Dalvin Cook healthy, just different beast, different beast, and uh, those wide receivers are playing lights out right now. Every everything, everything's coming up aces for them right now. Lines are really good though. This is not going to be easy. Nope, I don't believe it will be. But hey, you only got to win by a point, so that's uh, that's all you got to do. And I'm in with it. They're playing in the dome. Give me the Vikings. Give me Kirk Cousins. All that jazz. Next game up, the Eagles Sunday Night Football, going on the road to the Cowboys. Now, typically. You got two teams with three losses. We wouldn't be discussing this game. But the other two teams in this division, the Giants and the Redskins. Yeah, these this, are two leaders of the club now. This could decide a playoff spot. I think so. Uh, this Eagles secondary, not looking real good. But Cowboys wide receivers banged up. <laughs> is is Amari Cooper going to play? I don't know. I don't know if he's going to play or not. I mean, I didn't know for fantasy purposes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got I gotta find some of this well, stuff out. It's it's Tuesday night, Ugh. Wednesday morning, so well you, you you'll probably know before Sunday. I would hope so. God, I would hope so. We don't have that information right now. Um I I would have to like I'm I'm thinking like the Eagles have played better on the road, but man, they got absolutely mollywopped when they went to Minnesota last week. I mean <laughs> they got stomped on last week. <laughs> and that was that was not I a lot I, of fun. I believe I had the Vikings. Yeah, you did. You did. It's, and I took the Eagles because I thought they could stop the run. They couldn't stop anything. I mean, they, they just did. And, and that's, I think maybe the Cowboys, this could be a get-right game, which is tough to say against the Eagles, you know? But, like, anytime the Eagles are up against it, like, they tend to come out and, and at least show some fight. Carson Wentz has not looked great this year. Uh, Dak Prescott... However, on the other side, his, this is just two kind right, of whatever so this, teams. This is easy for me in making this pick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Eagles. I'm going to take the points. I'm taking the better coach. I'm taking the better quarterback. And I'm, and I'm just taking the team that I think historically in recent years has just proven to be a better football team, a better organization. Okay, a okay. A more stable organization. Of course, I don't know how much more stable you can get. Jason Garrett's been the coach there for a decade. Yeah, but I mean, he's been. I don't. Been I don't know. If that's a good thing. I. I mean, I'd have to assume it's not. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm gonna take the Eagles. I. I always. I always make. Have I taken all the road teams yet? Um. So far, yeah. Great. So far, all See the road teams. Out. Uh, I'm gonna go. With the Cowboys, on this. I know. So and hard that to my say. my problem is that I always count them out too quickly. And they got beat by the Jets. Yeah, and but, like ugly too. I know, I know. It was bad. It was bad. Stuff. Hey, guess what? Maybe paying twenty five, thirty million dollars to a running back is not not a good value. Oh, I'd I'd wager there. Yeah, you're right. Because so far we got two of them in the league, and ain't neither one of them earning their money. No, that's uh, you. You one hundred percent right about that. Saquon Barkley is pissed off right now. Ain't nobody going to give me that contract. Oh, Lord, no. Lord, no. But, it, it, you know, it, Saquon does his own thing. So, I don't know. 
it, he needs he needs a lot more help around him anyway. Uh, he he won't ever be worth that much money if they don't build that offensive line. Ooh, he can leave and get it, but nobody's gonna nobody's, nobody's gonna, pay gonna, gonna pay it. No, that's, that's the problem. The, nobody's paying it. Uh, all right, I'm taking the Cowboys minus three. That's a I don't like it, but you know what are you gonna do? Of course, I, I wouldn't like it if I took the Eagles either. <laughs> I mean, like I don't know, I, both of them are not very good teams right now. Like I think they could get better as the year goes on, but right now, whew, that's a tough one to watch on Sunday night. I'm glad you and I'll probably be driving. Yeah, we'll be watching this here. Um, let's move on. Game number four. Good gracious, Baltimore goes to Seattle. They're going all the way across the country. I'm Seahawks. excited for this game. Seahawks are a three-and-a-half-point favorite. The total is 49-and-a-half in this one. The Seahawks, they ain't looked real good against any of the AFC North teams. They haven't looked good against a lot of people, but they find ways to win. But they find ways to win. Uh, I mean, three hustle and, and bustle, Russell. I would have to assume three and a half, probably too many right here. Like, I'm going to give you my pick on this. Uh, I'm going to take the Ravens plus three and a half. I'm going to take the Seahawks to win. But I'm going to take the Ravens plus three and a half. Because I, I think they keep this close. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think you're right. I think that's the play because Seattle hasn't kind of blown anybody out. No. I, I mean, mean, it took Baker giving the ball away umpteen times. And Freddie Kitchens just doing all the dumbest things that you could possibly imagine somebody doing. Yeah. And they they barely beat they barely beat them. Now they did play at Cleveland. Doesn't matter every time they play at home they didn't kick nobody's butt either. No, you're right. I mean They're they winning. They, they they beat the Rams because of a missed Greg Zerline field goal, which don't happen often. That's right. Um magic in the air. Isn't that. it crazy how quickly we've counted the Rams out? Yeah. I mean, they got stumped on by the uh They the were Bucks. this close to losing to the Browns, too. They should have four losses in a row. I know, but they were this close to beating Seattle. They I should mean, beat Seattle. They should. They should. But they didn't. No. And so. then they didn't beat the Bucks. <laughs> and they barely beat the Browns. Yeah, you're and right. they didn't beat the Niners. There ain't a whole lot of teams that are going to beat these Niners. But I'm just saying, the Rams... Now you're they right. They play some good teams. They play some bad teams, and, they're, and they're, the bad teams are, are giving them hell. You uh, you doing the same? Russell Wilson, yes, uh, playing unbelievable, lights out. Now I am curious how this team is going to look without Will Disley no, or West Disley, he'll be fine. whatever. He'll be fine. I don't know, man. Russell's just going back there and heaving. I, I guess it don't matter who the wide receiver is. Huh? He's just fine. Uh, Did we know who? Do we know who Will Diesley was before a couple of weeks ago? No. Then we're going to find somebody else. No, you're probably right. Name today, he, we're going to know it. His accuracy Sunday. has been off <clears throat> the freaking charts. Like, yeah. ridiculous yeah. good. Guess um, what? He's really good at football. Yeah, he really is. He's he he's living up to that kind of A lot of quarterbacks got paid. One of them's earning it. Yeah, you got that right. That's Hey, how funny is it? Jared Goff? Over $100 million guaranteed. Like a $130 and, and, million dollar contract. And and passed for less than 100 yards against the 49ers. Ooh, man, y'all owe that now, man so but much hang money. On, but hang on. What's Listen, up? Let me give him a little bit of defense. The last two games that he lost, he put up over 900 yards of offense. They still lost the game. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's true. That's that's hard to do. You tell you tell a guy he's he's a little bit away from 1,000 a, a yards in two games, and he's got two L's. That's a hard pill to swallow. Now you're right. That Rams problem is not a all Jared Goff problem. It is. It is a some Jared Goff problem. Now you're probably right. Uh, you're taking the Ravens or the uh, the Seahawks. You're taking Ravens. I cover? think. I think I take the points. I think Lamar's going to step up, and I think Lamar's going to play well in this game. You got him to win, or are you taking? No, no, no. I'm, I'm exactly what you're doing. Okay. The three and the hook helps me because I I just think, I think oh, Seattle's yeah. played everybody close. Now you're right. You are right about that. All right, game number five. Let's jump into an AFC South showdown. The Texans coming off a massive win at Kansas City, going to Indianapolis, and they are catching a point at Indy in a division game. It's going to be close to a pick either way. Yeah. One, one way, it'll, it'll go back and forth, I would imagine. I would agree. Um, man, I... I want to hop on this Texans bandwagon, but I have seen Bill O'Brien do some of the dumbest things a head coach could ever do, and he still 
remains employed. He, they you, can't, you can't get rid of him because how he finished the season last year where he rolled off like 10 straight wins, and then what he's doing right now but this then, year. But then he got absolutely destroyed at home in the playoffs. I mean, that's just. That's fine. Yeah. That happens. Uh, that, that happens. I know. I just don't, I don't trust him for nothing. Deshaun Watson's, Deshaun Watson's really good. Deshaun Watson's incredible. <laughs> Hang on. In that draft, the Bears traded up to get Mitchell Trubisky when they could have just taken Deshaun. Now, I'm not a big Dabo fan. Well, no, you, and look, you could have taken Deshaun or Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, but I, 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 yes, you are right. I mean, Mahomes I'm was, not, there's no, there's no caveat there. You are right. They are they, both. They could have had either one of them. They are both incredible. They are both transcendent quarterbacks that are going to run the NFL for the next five, ten years if they stay healthy. And, and, and. Just you, think about it. Just think you about traded how good. Up. You moved up because somebody convinced you they were going to take. Trubisky. Trubisky, one pick over you. That's just stupid. That's a, I think that's a fireable offense. Now, I mean, that's, a, you that's made normally the Mac, a franchise you, killer. You made the Mac trade. You got Roquan. You, you've built that defense. you got to get credit for that. Yeah. I think that's a fireable offense. I, talking back on the, the Texans and the Colts, Texans have got a ton of weapons. Colts still maybe got some guys hurt. It's a division game. It's at home, which helps out the Colts. I, I think I, I got a I got a ride Texans here. I'm 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 not getting off this Colts bandwagon. They had two weeks to prepare for this game. They yeah, didn't know what's coming in. They were the first team to beat the Chiefs. Now you're right. You're right. All right. <clears throat> first team to beat the Chiefs. Going a little little tangent here. I meant to go on the tangent. When we talked about the Saints Bucks, just or Saints Bears. Me. Saints Bears. First thing, this is we're not talking about my guys because they're not playing a big team. That's okay. Okay. But the first team, both of these teams owe royalties to the Patriots. They both they both need to send checks to Bill because everyone says, well, maybe we got a maybe we have a book on on the Chiefs now. Well, who do you think wrote that damn book last year in the playoffs? You're right. Hang on. The other book, nobody for two years could figure out Sean McVay. Nobody. Super Bowl. Bill figured him out. Now, now he rolled it off three losses. How are people figuring him out? Well, they read Bill's book. Bill should be getting royalty checks from these other teams right now for, for giving the game plan to how to beat somebody. I'm very curious to see teams' records <clears throat> after they play the Patriots. I, I've never looked into that before, but I wonder do teams get worse after Bill plays them because you see how he's able to, especially the offensive teams, Yeah, because you see how he figures out ways to take the best players out of the game. That's and then once, once you see how it can be done, these other teams have just as good of athletes as the Patriots have. Some of them substantially more talented at different levels of the game than the Pats. So they can do it kind of easier. <clears throat> I, 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 think they, I think they owe my Patriots royalty. Back on my tangent for the Patriots before we get out of this. I love Drew Brees. I think Drew Brees is one of the best guys in all of the NFL. Okay. <clears throat> he's been man of the year multiple times. Nobody has a negative thing to say about him. And I'm not trying to say something negative about him. But you damn well know if Tom Brady went down for six weeks and the first four weeks some other quarterback came in and went 4-0, and the entire league would be spending that whole four-week time period in crushing Tom Brady, in destroying a 20-year legacy of Tom Brady saying he's a system quarterback. See, they can win with anybody. Tom isn't special. He's not nothing special. He's just another guy in this machine. Why do we talk about him like he's the greatest of all time? You absolutely know they'd be saying that. You're probably right. Now, I know there's no probably to it. <laughs> They've already got it all typed up for when he one day does go. All these sports writers are just going to be able to start killing him. Everybody on Twitter, because they hate him. 
why is it different? Is it just hate? Is that the only thing? Why is it different for one guy but not the other? Because nobody has said one word about maybe Breeze's. Maybe he's not so great. Look at all these yards he's got. Look at all these touchdowns he's thrown for. Look at all these accolades that he's built. Maybe it's all Sean Payton. Maybe it's just a system. Well, I think everybody understands that <clears throat> the Saints weren't winning last year or even the year before that just because of Drew Brees. It was defense. But the Patriots haven't been winning because, just because of Tom in, in forever. Yeah, it's been a long time. I, Maybe I think, not forever, but I, I think a lot of the, a lot of it has to do with the fact that Brady wins so much. It's just yeah. So it's just I'm sick of this guy. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. You you I, what, I, what was the Batman thing? It's like uh, you uh, you you either die a hero or you or live you live long, long enough, enough to, to be the villain. villain. Yeah. yeah, and that's Brady has lived long enough to be the villain. Oh yeah, no, but he became a villain years ago, a long time ago. He's yeah, but twenty it, years into this thing. Yeah, but he. He became a villain like year seven. Yeah. I mean, the third Super Bowl win already. Yeah, that's it happens. Anyway, it happens I, just, I just think that let's all check ourselves for the hypocrisy that we have when we're blowing the Saints right now, okay? And not one person has mentioned Drew Brees being a system quarterback or, you know, maybe not all the goods. But we're, but we're just waiting. We're just waiting to be able to call Tom Brady as a system QB. I'm going to write this down. we got to put this in the in the show notes. <laughs> system QB. I know, I know Breeze is a nice guy. I don't want to crap on him. I just. No, he's a great I, guy. I catch a lot of hell, and I take personal what you say about Tom. It hurts my feelings. It hurts me deeply. All right, so I got Texans. You got the Colts, huh? I do have the Colts. Okay. I don't, I don't like my Texans pick. But I don't know if I'd like my Colts pick either. Yeah. Either way. All right, let's go into the rapid fire. There's only two uh, other interesting games. Not a great NFL slate this week. No, <clears> it's <throat> not. And it's probably a good week for us to be uh, driving back from Chicago. So. That's right. Um, first game up, Thursday night football. Chiefs at the Broncos. Typically, this wouldn't be a great game. But it is a divisional game. Broncos have won two straight. Looks like the defense kind of getting back on track a little bit. Figuring things out. Chiefs offense not looking good. Patrick short Mahomes. Week, Patrick Mahomes banged up. That's kind of rough. And, and short week got to go on the road. Short week. Yeah. Like it's a mile high. I, I, I'm, on, I'm on record for saying that I I think it's for the betterment of the team for the entire season. If you're Andy Reid and you're seeing big picture, you're seeing we're playing for a Super Bowl, this week does not matter. I would – Short week, my guy's banged up. He's been banged up three weeks straight. I would sit Patrick this week. And if you take the L, you take the L. You go out there with the guys you got, you give it all you can, you maybe come away with the W because it's not like the Broncos are world beaters. Uh, yeah. I would I would sit him if it was me being the quarterback. Now, I know Patrick would probably flip out. There's no way he would take that. He would want to do that. And I think it depends on how hurt he really is. Right. No, I think these guys are warriors. I, 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 I call them soft. I call them. I, I say all the time they make excuses for being hurt whenever they play sucky. But then somehow when they're great, we never talk about their injuries. It, 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 you know. I think these guys are warriors. I think that if they can be out there, they will be out there. Yeah. I don't think anybody sits willingly. No, so. you're you're right. You're right. Uh, let's move on from there. Last one: Raiders at the Packers. This is an insane – we we just were wrong about the Raiders being yeah. in the toilet of the NFL. Raiders beat the Colts. Um, went to London, beat the Bears. Went to – yeah, went to London, beat the Bears. Uh, they look good right now. Yeah, they're not They're not a bad football team. And that, now they're you know going what? to they're, Green Bay. Right now, what are they, three and three? Three and – three and two. Three and I mean. two. Odds are because this will be six yeah, games. they took play. the bye week. That's right. Um – yeah, I mean they 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 kind of look like a five hundred football team right now, which is better than than what they had been last. I mean last year they were awful. Well, yeah, and and Derek Carr and for what we thought they were going to be this year, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean I I I bet on under six and a half wins, and I just I don't feel good about that at all right now. No, I think I think they're hitting that. I think I think they're getting close to eight eight and eight. I mean yeah. I really do. Um, and would it surprise you to see them go nine and seven? I don't think so. Oh, not right no, now. I mean having a winning, I, I guess. A, 
Maybe. Like, I, I think a lot, I was, I was feeling really good about that under six and a half when they were still going through all the Antonio Brown stuff. Well, yeah, we didn't know they were going to cut that guy. And we they, thought they were going to be dealing with that kind of drama all year. They get that cancer out of their locker room. And then they got perfect out of the locker room They got now. perfect out of the locker room. I, they look fantastic. And now, of I course, Raiders. fantastic, but they look good enough to win games. Raiders coming off of a bye. Packers just played a tough divisional Monday night football game. That they stole, by the way. That they stole. Stole it. So, I, I like the Raiders in this spot. Situationally, I, it's a good spot for the Raiders. I think Packers it's, still a really good football team. I think the Packers win, Raiders cover. That's I feel the same way. Yeah. that that, that I The Packers, other than the Cowboys, the Packers haven't beaten up anybody. Yeah. They haven't they haven't just really put a butt whipping to anybody. I I I think it's gonna be a round of touchdowns, field goal game, yeah. four point game, you know, some weird I mean score. this this could be a thirty one twenty seven game, this could be a twenty one seventeen kind of game. I'd be shocked if it's that high score. Uh, well, it's 30, a, 31 thirty-one twenty seven is a lot of points. Twenty one to seventeen though. I would take I I, I think that. that's close. I think yeah. you're real close right there. Yeah. I, I like My that. My opinion. One. I like that one. All right. That is going to wrap up the NFL Week 7 previews and picks for this week. Of course, go over to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you enter in this week's football pick em contest. Chris and I will be in Chicago, but we'll still have our phones and everything. So if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you comment. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. We'll, uh, we'll make sure we get back to you, of course. If you're listening on Apple Podcast, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a nice review. We'll read it on the show next week. Uh, as long as you're nice. Don't be mean, man. Dude, that, that dude that, that came in, what was his name? Busby? Or, Come on now. He gave us or, a five-star review. He did give us a five-star review, but I mean. I'll take five stars. You can say whatever you want. You give me five stars, you can say whatever you want. Hey, okay. That, that is fair. and and Because the analytics care about the review. And to be honest, he ain't wrong. No, he was fair. Picking against me right now is probably your best bet. Not bad. Um, maybe not in the NFL, though, because I've, I've done pretty well in the NFL here lately. Uh, but in college, absolutely, go against me. Fade me, make all the money you can, because I can't figure out nothing right now in that. Uh, the show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. they got six incredible sports books. Go find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. Again, find us, all of our social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all of our podcasts, our videos, our picks, previews, whatever, over at winningcureseverything.com. Anything else we need to hit? I think we're good. We'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.